What is up, everyone? Welcome to this episode woo, of Car Vlog, a special pickup edition, which is cool. Oh, yeah. Gonna make a video in my car now. Oh, yeah. All right, so here we go, sitting at work. 2024 gaming goals. Uh, I always beat, try and beat 12 to 24 games. Last weekend, I beat my 12th game. So we've made our minimum for that particular gaming goal. Um, I've got another game in the Nintendo right now that I'm about halfway through. And uh, beat three military games. The old back in the day gamer challenge. Guerrilla War, POW, and Heavy Barrel. Thank you to Adam and Bobby for sending that to me. All three really good games. All three have something different to offer. Uh, they didn't really take that long to beat. POW was a sort of a challenge in some points. Uh, yeah, the game can get kind of brutal, but uh, we made it through those three games, so we can check that off the box. Do you want to make a special announcement? We are going to do the trade show this year. Uh, we're going to do it at the end of summer. So, you know, end of August, September, somewhere in there. We'll pick a Friday or Saturday. As I get closer to the that date, I'll just post a question on the community tab. Do you want to do it this weekend, this weekend, or this weekend? And uh, we'll try and figure out the best weekend for everybody. But, uh yeah, because uh, I'm hyper motivated to clean out my collection. Um, I got thinking about my PlayStation 1 collection last night. I have an app, so I started going through my collection on my app. A lot of commons in there, a lot of kids games that, uh, you know, again, people probably don't want. But there are some games in there that I'm willing to get rid of, like uh, Warcraft 2. Never going to play it. Don't care about it. Didn't even I didn't even realize I had it. Forgot I had it until I was looking through the app. Went, oh, yeah, I got that game. That's like a $30, $40 game. Uh, Power Shovel on PlayStation 1. It's like a $30 game, you know? I'm never going to play. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to clean. I got to clean this weekend, do the bathroom, the kitchen, you know, sweep the floors, throw in some laundry, that kind of stuff. And then we'll go over to Walmart. I'm going to grab a tote. And I'm just going to start putting games that I don't want in that tote. And uh, we'll save them for the trade show. I'll post a picture on my Facebook, on my community tab. And uh, if you guys want dibs, just say dibs and I'll, I'll put it in the box. I'll put it in a different box specifically for the trade show. And that way it'll be available for uh, for trade. And uh, hopefully this weekend I can get, I should be able to get through the PlayStation 1. Uh, I want to get through the Sega Saturn stuff. And I want to get through the Dreamcast stuff, which should be easy because I don't have a lot of games for those, those consoles. Anyway, I was on Facebook last night. This guy had a bunch of stuff. But they were all sort of lotted up. Like you'd have 10 games and only two games I wanted. And another lot. And maybe I only wanted one game. So I messaged him and I said, hey, are you selling these as lots only? Or are you willing to just sell me the games that I want? And he's like, well, at this point, because he's had them up there for a while. At this point, I just want to sell anything. So I'm like, okay. So um, I was like, I want these games. And he gave me a price of 120 bucks. So I was like, sure, no problem. So I met him this morning. And he invited me in. I said, you got a lot of gaming stuff. He's like, yeah, if you want to come in and take a look at it. So he's got all kinds of stuff. Uh, Wii games, you know, Mario, Pokemon, Game Boy Advance games, like all the Dragon Ball Zs, uh, Mario Kart, Mario Tennis I saw. Uh, 360 games that are sellable, like Minecraft, uh, Wet, maybe some other games in there. But, um, yeah. So he resells. But I don't think he really resells a lot because he has a bunch of stuff. So he may never re really resell anything. Uh, he works off of a spreadsheet. He's a very nice guy. So whatever the price is on his spreadsheet is sort of what he goes off of, which is kind of interesting. But uh, yeah, so I, I gave him 120 for these games. And then he had another item that I picked up for 20 bucks. So let's just run through these real quick. Uh, Xeno Saga 1 and 2. Now, they're both missing the manual. And Xeno Saga 2 has the bonus disc. 
which is nice. But like I said, these are going to be uh, doubles for me. And I think I found a, a manual on eBay. I thought I had this manual, an extra manual. So I'll double check before I buy it. But it looks like somebody has the disc and the manual for like 15 bucks. And uh, if I can pick that up for 15 bucks and I'll just resell the disc for like 15 bucks, which will mean we'll get the manual for basically free. But these are doubles, so they'll go into the, the trade pile. Uh, Dragon Quest 8. Now, he said that the demo was in here. The demo disc was in there, but it's obviously not. But it does have the manual, which is in really nice condition. These cases are going to need to be replaced. So, yeah, I'm not sure what this probably goes for. Maybe like 20 bucks or something. I don't know. But that's a double. Uh, the bummer, because I wanted this one to be complete, because I was going to add it to the collection. Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. Bingo. And I didn't notice this when I was checking out the games. He invited me in the house and I was like, okay, but well, we've got some damage on the cover art there. Obviously that's gonna detract from the value, but uh, you know, the manual on the disc might be worth about 40 bucks. So not, not the worst ever there. And then uh, Extermination, which is more of a action survival horror type game. Got some spotting on the manual. So yeah. I don't have that one either. And then the reason I got this whole lot is because I, I've i never seen this game before. Now, I've been doing PlayStation 2 for like 20 years, right? And sometimes there's a game that I see and I'm like, oh, I've never seen that game before. I've never seen that variant before. But this is Inferial Fantasia. It's a Konami RPG. I watched a review on it. Uh, they said it wasn't very good, but it's actually in very nice condition. If you look at the, the corners on the manual, no dog ears, anything like that. So, yeah, we paid one, one twenty for those, and I think we'll be okay. So he lets me in, and I'm I'm kind of looking at his Xbox. He's got he's got some Mario and some Pokemon games on the Wii, some Minecraft, and some good, some decent games. Not good games, but decent games on the uh, on the 360, like Wet, you know, easy resellables. And uh, he's got a tote of Game Boy, Game Boy Advance games, and in there he has like. Um, all the Dragon Ball Z's. He's got uh, Mario. I saw Mario Kart, Mario Tennis. The Wii, he had Mario, a couple of Mario's, Pokemon's, Mario All-Star collector's thing. So I said, listen, I got to go to work. And he had like a doctor's appointment and some stuff to do this weekend. So I said, you know, message me next weekend. Maybe I'll come over and we kind of sort through this and I can pick out some stuff that I want. Because I really think he's just kind of looking to get rid of stuff you get and sometimes when you do spreadsheets when you look it up and you don't update your prices you're never going to sell stuff because he has a nintendo it was in a priority mailbox i was like what's in this priority mailbox he's like oh that's a nintendo so i, I pulled it out and looked at it. he's like yeah I, I sell my nintendos for a hundred bucks and i'm thinking well at maxine's bargain box you can get them for 60 it comes with a one-year warranty and you get 20 percent of the console's value in trade credit so you get 12 dollars in trade credit so at 60 bucks you're really paying $48 for a Nintendo, you know, so you like 50 bucks for a Nintendo. But when I pulled that box off, I saw this sitting behind it. An NES satellite, it's in the box with the styrofoam and the instruction manual. It does have a big blemish in the back, but otherwise it is in really minty condition, the, uh, the unit and the styrofoam. And I said, how much do you want for the satellite? It's one of the NES things I actually don't own. A four score and a power pad, I think, are the last two sort of accessories. Maybe like the quick shot, whatever. But uh, he was like, well, let me look it up on the spreadsheet. And he said, 20 bucks. Okay. So I don't know if I want to keep this or sell it. Because I, even with the damage, I think I can get like 50 or 60 for it. And that just makes the games that much cheaper. You know what I mean? Um, I would like to keep it. It's got the KB Toy Store stickers on it, <laughs> which is hilarious. KB recommends Panasonic Alkaline Batteries. I bet, the, I bet they got a dollar out of every alkaline battery they sold. But um, yeah, so I paid him $140, got all this stuff, and hopefully we can go back and uh, get some more stuff. But um, anyway, we're running all, almost at 10 minutes. 
How are your gaming goals going this year? Have you completed any of your gaming goals? Are you working on it? Uh, make sure that you, I'm doing a community tab right now on games that you consider perfect on the Nintendo. Uh, I think I'm gonna make a video about that in the future. So I'd like to hear your thoughts. I saw Mr. Matthews and Bad Company Gaming left comments, which is great. Thanks guys. And the reason that this was brought on is I, I just happened to catch a John Riggs video where he uh, was talking about all of the five out of five games, five star games that Pat the NES Punk gave in his book for games. And I've got I've got some some opinions on that uh, on the games that he listed. There's like 19 games or whatnot. But uh, yeah, so I want to do a video on NES games that I think are perfect, but I also want to hear what you think are perfect Nintendo games. And uh, are you excited about the trade show? Let me know in the comments section. Like, comment, subscribe, share on social media. Don't forget to bang that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of your CM retro gaming goodness. Guys, as always, thank you for stopping by. Car Vlog.